Hey guys, how are we doing? So today's video, uh, I'm going to take a two day journey, I'm going to go up to Bang Chang and uh, stay up there. So uh, this video today, I'm going to get myself up there, I'm going to show you the uh, local area and the nightlife. And in the other video, I thought I'd treat myself, I'm going to go down onto the beach, uh, Pala Beach, and go and show you around that area, some of the restaurants, etc. You know, it's not very far away, if you just get a bolt taxi to take you up to uh, Bang Chang, uh, if you went up to the MC Sports Bar, which is in the, in the heart of all of the nightlife there, you're talking three to four hundred baht in a car, three hundred baht in a motorbike taxi. I'm taking my trusty steed, there it is down there, all bagged up, ready to rock and roll. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a good time. So uh, I'll showcase the uh, hotels. Unlike my trip to Bangkok, uh, I've got a decent hotel this time, not a short time hotel that I booked in Bangkok. I didn't know it was a short time hotel, I just thought it was a normal hotel. And I thought I'd just try and bring different things to the channel and show you different hotels. But anyway, uh, these two both, I believe, have got swimming pools, so uh, all good to go. I might even have a dip, show you how me walk, me uh, camera works underwater. So uh, it's either going to be my first of many videos underwater, or it'll be my last because I'll uh, let the water leak in, it'll blow it up. But anyway, so we're going to go to Bang Chang, let's go check it out, and I'll show you on the map where I am now and where I'm going to get to. Uh, it's about a 40 minute ride on your motorbike and uh, same in a car and uh, yeah let's go check it out let's see what Bang Chang has got to offer since the last time I was there which was quite a few months ago right back in a sec Hey guys, so I'm here uh, outside the Xanadu Hotel and uh, I don't know what to expect. I think it will be a lot better than the one I booked in Bangkok. Uh, the journey up here was easy, no dramas. They've done so much improvements on the road now. It really was very easy to get up here. Uh, it took me about 40 minutes, just under 40 minutes. And bear in mind, I was stopping uh, to take little snippets of videos as well. So it was a very easy, very uh, simple journey. And that was on my little trusty moped. Uh, so, you know, if you're in a car or a high powered bike, you'll nail that in less than 30 minutes. So where am I? Uh, just spin this round. So right now, I'm here at the very top of the uh, strip. This is the main area where all the bars are. Well, I'm gonna walk down there later on tonight and I'll showcase all that for you. But that's where all the main areas for the bars and the girls, etc. Uh, but this is where I am, at the Xanadu. And uh, I've gotta say, uh, they've got a swimming pool, which is quite nice. I'm gonna give that a go. I'm gonna try out my uh, waterproof camera. Fingers crossed it'll work. Uh, and uh, I don't know if I can get around this way, hang on. No, all right, okay. But I'll show you in a second, one second, let me step up here. So just here, oh, oh, there we go. There's the swimming pool. And uh, I've got to be honest with you, I don't think I'll be trying out that slide. I think I'll get stuck in that. Uh, and they got a bar, a Shiva's Life bar. And uh, the reception was very pleasant. Uh, they were very welcoming. And I checked in early, no dramas whatsoever. And they've put me on the room 301. And I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, but the, uh, the room's a uh, very reasonable price, and I think for myself, uh, it's ideal. And like I say, you can get uh, some snacks and stuff. You get your snacks and everything here. And uh, reception's really nice, really, really pleasant. Book me in very easily, no dramas whatsoever. And uh, in the morning, you can come down here and uh, you can get your breakfast in here. All right, let's go check out the room. So this is the room. Uh, I ordered a, a double bed. It's actually, if you look at it there, it's two singles joined together, but it doesn't matter. It will do the job. Uh, the room's quite big, nice and spacious. I paid 678 baht for one night here. Um, obviously got a nice little chair, table there, a fridge and a TV. And this fridge is much better than the one in Bangkok. Uh, small sofa there. Obviously you got the, uh, the shower, bathroom around the corner of the shower. And uh, I've even got a balcony with a view. Hold on. Well, I say a view, it's not really a great view, but it's better than nothing, look. Oh, I can hear pigeons, please, no. Right there, you are. that's my view. And uh, over there, a few more houses. But you know, when you consider for less than a thousand baht, and uh, this is the room, I think that's absolutely brilliant. Air condition. Uh, the only thing they don't have, which I notice, is there's no in-room safe. Uh, meaning that your valuables are fairly exposed should the, the unlikely event of anyone come into your room. Um, but, you know, I, I think when you look at it all, I don't think it's bad. And the bed, uh, really, oh, really nice. 
Really nice and soft. It's got my big fat ass on it. <laughs> right, so I'm going to unpack and get everything sorted out. And then I'm going to head off down to one of the beaches. I'll show you that. Uh, we'll grab some lunch somewhere. And then this evening, uh, why are you staring at my pillows? <laughs> Hold on. See, this is what this camera, I've got to get used to it. Uh, right, yeah, so I'm going to head off into town, uh, go show you one of the beaches down here, go and grab some lunch. And then this evening, I will head off into the main strip here, the main strip where all the bars are, and uh, showcase what's going on. I don't know how busy it's going to be. Uh, I get mixed reactions. Some people go organize bar calls over there. Some of the guys that have been on the bar calls come back and say, no, nah, it's really flat. There's only like two or three girls in every bar, etc. So I don't know. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, you, it's, it's how you make your evening. You make your own entertainment. If you come here with a negative attitude, well, then you get a negative experience. But if you come here full of enjoyment and think, yep, tonight, let's just go out and see how the night pans out and have fun, well, then that'll be it. So, uh, right, I'll be back in a bit. I'm going to head down into town once I've done my unpacking. Well, I got here. <coughs> I'm at this restaurant and uh, I've had my food. And normally I just would uh, just talk over this and go on to my next thing. But I've got to say, guys, I've been here 11 years, been coming here 14, and I've just experienced, without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best, most enjoyable, most deliciously tasting meals I've ever had. It was absolutely fantastic. And um, the place is lovely. Let me spin the camera around. Uh, the place is lovely. It's called the Bua Cuisine and, and uh, Restaurant. And uh, it was just phenomenal. It really, really was off the radar. Uh, you can sit upstairs, there's uh, two, two, two floors there, you can sit downstairs, they've got two air-conditioned air areas, they've got an outside patio area here if you want to sit there, and uh, you're looking at this, and uh, the food, wow, <coughs> I had uh, fried rice with uh, cashew nuts, uh, along with uh, dam thai, dam thai is like a, a, a version of, of uh, som tham, but without the uh, crab, and without the fish sauce, I had spicy prawns, uh, with tofu and I had um, lab head which is uh, spicy mushrooms in a lab, lab uh, style of cooking and honestly guys it was just fantastic and the price I mean ridiculously cheap it really was I mean how, how they can make that for that money is beyond me it really was and it was just so so nice and the staff were very very pleasant very helpful very attentive and I can honestly say even if you don't want to come out here to stay for a night in a hotel and you're just looking for a day trip, get yourself in here, guys. I promise you, the food there, it was just, well, it really was. It was just amazing. It was by far one of the best meals I've ever had. And I mean, you know, just over 700 baht, that's pennies. That really is. If you used to try and get that meal in, in the city center in Pattaya, you'd be, you'd be oh, way more than that. And the quality and the quantity, it really was phenomenal. I'm so happy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to the beach I need to burn these calories off. Later on, I'm going to pop up and see Charlie at uh, MC Sports Bar. He's got a challenge for me. And the irony of it is, I didn't know whether this place would be much good or not, so I wasn't really sure. Anyway, he wanted to do a challenge where I'm going to eat this um, Inferno chili hot pot or something. I don't know. So I'm going to go and give that a crack in a bit and go and see what he's got up his sleeve. I know what he's like. He's a dodgy character at the best of times, but I love him really. He's a great guy, really good guy. So I'm going to go down on the beach and uh, show you around there. But yeah, honestly... I'm not often lost for words, but that food was just different gravy. It really was. It was way up there with some of the best food I've ever had in the time I've lived here. All right, let me jump on the old bike. There she is. Look, bless her. Looking all uh, all beautiful and dandy. And uh, we're going to go down uh, Pala Beach and see what's going on down there. And then I'm going to head up to the MC Sports Bar, back to the hotel, uh, go and have a swim. I had a nice swim earlier. That was good. Uh, so I'm going to have another one later on and uh, check my camera out. And then I'm going to go out this evening and see what's going on here in Bang Chang. So let's go and check out the beach. I've got my way down to Palau Pier now. Uh, the beach is a bit further on down, but I thought we'd stop here. Just have a look around at what's going on here. It's a nice area, actually. And uh, my hotel that I'm going to stay in in my next part is uh, just visible over there. I'll show you that in a second. But right now I'm down here. Uh, behind me, all the fishermen, they're uh, resting out from their morning's fishing. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just have a little wander up here and I'll just show you what's going on up this side of the world. Uh, now, I apologize, guys, if the wind factors a bit too much. Uh, one of the downsides to this new camera, the new camera, I love it, I think it's brilliant. It's an Insta360 X3, and uh, I think it's really, really cool. I love it, I really enjoy working with it. The only downside to it is that uh, it has one facility called noise re uh, wind reduction, which I've activated, but it doesn't really do a massive job, if I'm being honest. 
Whereas on the DJI, you'd use a mic with a wind mic uh, with a windsock over it, so you wouldn't get all this uh, breeze flowing around. But uh, anyway, not to worry. It is what it is. Now, if you look across straight over there, that is the Pilar. I think oh, I don't know what it's called actually. Now I think it's called the Pilar Beach Resort, something like that. You see the blue and pink coloured building. That's where I'm going to stay next. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what that's got to offer. I'm starting. I really am enjoying getting out of the city. I just felt like everything was rinse and repeat. You know, I enjoy doing my walkabouts, they're great fun. But you know, it's nice just to get out and about. And like I say, in the new year, so much more of these kind of videos are going to be coming to you. Uh, different places, I'm going to go travel around the sea. Travel around the sea? I said, <laughs> I said travel around the sea because the sea just splashed up at me. Uh, travel around the country and go and bring you other stuff. And uh, if we look back on ourselves there, over there, we're that way, there you go, that's Palar Beach down there. And uh, this is a sleepy fishing village. But I guess in the morning and late at night when they're out there doing their thing, I'd imagine it's a hive of activity. And I need to walk. That, that food I had was just, honestly, it's not often something grabs me by the short and curlies and says, hey, have you seen this? Have you enjoyed that? But I've got to say, that was just ferociously good. It really, really was. And, uh, oh, hello, something else. Good job this camera's water. This is nothing I like about this camera. Is uh, It's... it's um, splash proof and if I take the uh, the actual camera out the housing unit here uh, it's waterproof up to I think it's 15 or 16 foot so uh, I can get close can get wet it doesn't matter if it starts to rain remember I did my video where it poured the rain I had to go and buy an umbrella on this one I don't need to do that no uh, but down here this is just a pier but this is a nice thing you know come up and explore you know get out and about go and see what's going on in this beautiful place and we're very lucky we live in such a diverse culture where there's so many different things going on from farming to fishing to industrial to business to entertainment you name it we've got the juice and lot going on and uh any cock a doodle loot hello young man what's your name we'd like to say hello is it sold that i've seen you youtubers before i'm not going on camera and uh, down here the guys that are busy they're playing chess enjoying themselves just chilling out what a lifestyle eh what a lifestyle wake up in the morning nice and early go out do your fishing and then come back in the afternoon sit down with your mates play some chess drink some beers winner winner that food for dinner man I, I couldn't live if I lived here I'd be brassic not saying that like I said it was less than it was just over 700 bucks, it was pennies but I'd go there every day <laughs> I really would it was lovely okay I'm going to jump on my bike and uh, what we'll do is we're going to head down a bit further uh, I'm not really sure what to find down there to be truthful but there's only one way to find out and then I'm going to go over to see uh, my mate see what he's got up his sleeve back to the hotel for a swim and then uh, out and about for the night time. Let's go and see what's going on. And uh, people said to me the other day, they said, your bike's falling apart. It's not, look, you see there, there's masking tape. I've got masking tape. Oh, what's going on? I really have. And uh, the other day, that changed my life. But look, see, I've got to replace the masking tape for me. Honestly, I don't mess about. That black tape, can, uh, it can hold anything together. It's amazing. Right, let's go and have a look down further and see what's down there. So right now, uh, we're down here on Palar Beach. And uh, there's, a, there's a few nice beaches here. Uh, one thing that you're going to notice, which is a massive difference to what you can expect both on Jom Tien Beach as well as Pattaya Beach, is it is not overcrowded with food vendors and stalls and uh, chairs, etc. Um, you can get chairs. I'll just show you in a second, but you can get yourself a deck chair. But if you want to be left alone in peace and quiet, then this is probably the closest you're going to get uh, to being left alone. It really is lovely. Over there in the far distance, Samay Beach, right in the far distance up there. But as you can see, you know, it's very quiet, it's very uh, chilled out, it's a nice vibe, it's a nice area. And you can walk for a long, long way. You go right the way down there, and you can see them just on the right hand side there, you might be able to pick it out. There's another, uh, uh, what do you call it, sunbed uh, stalls there. And again, you know, look at the sand, beautiful. Really nice. And the sea's nice, you can swim in the sea, it's nice and clean. And uh, further up there, in fact, I took a little walk up there. I'm going to make a, a U-turn. One thing they could do with improving, to be fair, is look at this. The uh, pathway. Uh, it's not often you hear me say it, but the pathway makes potatoes pathways look decent. It really is uh, not as good as it should be. But nevertheless, don't let that detract from the fact that uh, it is a nice area. It's a very, very quiet beach, very chilled out. And there's a few of these beaches. There's a few like this. And you can have a wander out. You're going to get like, a photo shoot opportunity. See the hut in the front there? Last time I came down here, I did that. And look at that lady, brilliant. Isn't that nice to be able to just be sitting there 
can totally chill out and not have a worry in the world just sit there relaxing just watching the sea come in and out fantastic and like I say if you are looking for deck chairs uh, over here not really sure on some beds to be I'm sure probably someone has got them I'm sure we'll find them in a second but most of these are the deck chair styles and the only thing about those deck chairs to me personally from uh, my selfish point of view I think they're a little bit uncomfortable having said that I've lost a few kilos now so maybe I can squeeze my ass into them a bit better but before me uh, me folds around my waist were, were overlapping the chairs and made it a bit uncomfortable but this is the thing you now when you explore and like I say I can't think what it was now what was it three three to four hundred bar for a taxi to bring you up here less than an hour's ride Come up for a day, you know, go to that restaurant, honest to God, go to that restaurant. Boa, go there, it really was off the radar good. Without a doubt, some of the best food I've ever had in the time I've been here. And then, you know, come and sit down here on the beach and just do something different. You know, do something different. We don't necessarily have to be stuck in the rat race, doing the same old rinse and repeat every day. And I'm sure next year, I'm sure as things progress, and as uh, more and more opportunities come up for me to travel now that the buzzing lounge is very established it doesn't need me there every day of course I want to be there as much as I can and I plan to be there probably at least uh, four nights a week but uh, the point being is it just allows me to go out and bring stuff to the channel that I haven't been doing and it's reflective you know when I look at my analytics and YouTube you know considerably less views over the last three months than what I was used to getting um, you know, but that's part of a package of what I'm doing, unfortunately. It's just when you're stuck into the bar like I have been, and then you've uh, got no time to go off and explore and do other things, you really are kind of like shooting yourself in the foot. But at the end of the day, you know, the bar has been a huge success. I'm uh, completely overwhelmed by the popularity of the bar. It's been uh, phenomenal. I think last time I counted with beer, we had 32 girls, I think. And uh, obviously on a day-to-day on -a -day basis, they're not all there that's been a hard thing understanding that yeah boss I, I'm not coming today I don't feel well okay all right no no problem oh yeah boss I'm tired I want to I'm not going to come in today you're tired right okay these are the kind of uh, things that really are difficult for me to get my head around to be honest with you you know coming from the the world of business that I was in in the UK lateness and tiredness didn't exist it was you come to work you do your work you go home you get paid job done Whereas here, it's like, yeah, yeah, not to worry. I'll be in tomorrow. And you're thinking, oh, cheers, thanks for that. But what we'll do is we'll go over to this uh, viewpoint here, have a look back on what we got. And I'm going to go back to the hotel, go have a swim. Actually, no, sorry, I've got to go and see Michael at MC Sports Bar. Go and see him. And I'll tell you what, when you go to MC Sports Bar, here's one for you. Have a word with him and say, hey, how's, how's the dragons, mate? What's going on with the dragons? I'll let him explain it to you. It was hilarious. It was hilarious. Hook, line and sinker. Without a shadow of a doubt, he was, he was bought into it. But you, you ask him, next time you go to MC Sports Bar in Bang Chang, going, hello, somebody cup. So there you go, that's all the way down there. And uh, I was going to go up there, but I don't get the feet wet. I know, but anyway, back down there, there you are. Beautiful, and that is Halar Beach, right in front of us okay so next is motorbike mc sports bar he's got this food challenge for me and uh the carolina reaper pot noodle is the trouble is i'm absolutely stuffed i really don't want to eat it's not that i can't eat the spicy i can deal with that i just really don't want to eat it. i'm stuffed so uh let me see how i feel when i get to see him and if not maybe i'll have to come back and do it another day for him but having come up here now uh, and enjoying myself like I am. It's just been great to have a breakaway and uh, clear my thoughts, clear my head, work on the new website. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be out soon. And uh, fingers crossed, there's a few other nice things in the pipeline that are coming your way. I've been busy working behind the scenes with our tour guide license and uh, putting stuff into place ready for January. So again, just trying to diversify a little bit and I know I'm adding more work to my workload already, but the point is I'm trying to give you guys almost... Hello, somebody come. I'm, I'm trying to give you guys almost like a, a one-stop shop in, in many ways. And uh, I'm going to, while we're on the subject, uh, as you know, the Buzzing Lounge, well, above that, 
we do have rooms and uh, if things progress the way they do I'm gonna invest into the rooms and decorate them up nicely modernize them bring them right up to scratch because to be fair right now they're not where I would like them to be and uh, I spoke to Dave he's a lovely guy really nice guy he's receptive to the idea and then we'll be able to offer you rooms above the buzzing lounge and of course we'll make sure that you get a good rate so let's uh let's call it a day right now i'm going to ping up to mc see what's going on up there and if i can i can if i can't i can't i'm just stuffed and that food was so nice so nice anyway uh, let me jump on my bike and head back well there you go you can't predict thailand's weather uh, one minute i'm enjoying walking down the beach and now this it's uh absolutely pouring down and i think i tempted fate because i was the idiot that said yeah if it rains I don't have to worry about the camera because it's waterproof. However, I may be waterproof but I ain't got a jacket. Oh man, why is this only happen to me? So uh, I think I'm going to give uh, I'm going to give uh, the miss go to see uh, Michael and Char go see Charlie. I'm going to give that miss and uh, go straight back to the hotel and try and dry off. So uh, <laughs> only happens to me, doesn't it? So uh, I'm going to go now wade my way back through to the hotel dry off and I'll go and see uh, Charlie later on so uh, yeah always expect the unexpected so that's it today uh, that's the end of our video uh, last night I went out had a great time to be honest with you really really good um, you know the area is quiet but it always has been compared to the city but then like I say to many people you make your own entertainment you know when you go into these bars and, and the places you're in you know you've got to meet them halfway you know at the end of the day you can't expect just to walk in and it's a hive of activity and entertainment you've got to go in there and, and create it yourself which is you know what we did last night I had a great time uh, went and saw charlie had a good time in there had a wander around some of the bars had a bit of a fun bit of a laugh few too many vodka sodas and uh finished off the night which i shouldn't have done but as of course when you've had a few beers your plans go out the window with a drink with a bit of food uh, which was actually quite nice to be honest with you now, in terms of the hotel yeah you know when i look at this hotel behind me it's by far the nicest hotel I've stayed in here at the moment. I'm going to go and stay in another one tonight, see what that is. Uh, I'll bring that video to you soon. Uh, but for me, yeah, Xanadu, the Sova used to be my go to hotel. The Sova was my uh, tick box, uh, but this one just it, it blows it away. And it's nice, you know, it's early morning. Look, the sun's still coming up. You see it behind me there. So I really am an early bird. And uh, just goes to show vodka soda, no hangovers. It's uh, what's the time now? It's about 6 30 in the morning. So I'm going to finish off my work. And uh, once I've done that, then I'm going to pack my stuff. But, you know, the evening was good fun. And uh, come out. Come out and try it. You know, just do something different. And uh, if you are going to come over, I highly recommend Xanadu for me. It was a very, very good hotel and well worth the money. All right. So that's it today. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, as always, please remember to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon. If you'd like to be notified when I bring out a new video, uh, please have a look on our Instagram and our TikTok. It's going for strength to strength. So please take a look at that. And also check out our Discord. Uh, there's over 16,000 members in there and it's completely free of charge it's a very useful platform if you do join please remember you're going to go to the access to rooms and tick the box one time don't double click it tick it one time for Pattaya, Bangkok, Phuket whichever ones you want and that will uh, access you all the rooms that are relevant to the areas that you're interested in and if you'd like to support the channel and the work that I'm doing uh, there's a link to our members area on buzzingpattaya.com uh, please have a look at that and the support you give me is much appreciated it helps me do things like this and bring different and varied content to the channel for you Alright, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and please, as always, wherever you are in the world, stay safe.